All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working with warm and cool colors. So if you guys don't know, the warm and cool colors are red, orange, and yellow for warm. And for cool colors, it's blue, purple, and green. So that's what you're gonna be needing today and a piece of paper. So let's get going. All right, let's get to the point. I'm gonna show you guys what's on my page. So here it is. So on this prop, uh, sorry, so on this paper, is what we're gonna be achieving today for today's art. So it is a warm and cool theme and it's divided in half as a diagonal. And basically what we're doing is kind of zentangle patterns and any patterns that we can think of. And if we have to do repeating patterns, just make sure it's a different color. However, when it comes to warm and cool, you have to make sure it's on the correct side. So over here, we have an example from a kid that kind of like left it in the art room, so I just kind of kept it. But it's a great example. So obviously they got a good grade. Um, but I kept it, but I'm glad I kept it because now I get to show you guys. I also have three more examples, I believe, or two more examples. They're really detailed, by the way, but they're not finished. But you can see how much of a detail this person did. So normally this takes us about like two or three weeks to do because you guys only see me once a week. But this person did a really great job on their technique of Zentangle. So I kept it and I really want to finish it one day, but it doesn't belong to me. But it's a really great uh, example of warm and cool colors uh, here's another one a really great example of warm and cool colors when it comes to the zentangle piece of artwork so again you guys can kind of see what's going on one side is the sun representing the warm uh, side and then one side is the moon or a crescent moon representing the cool side so what we're going to do uh, i divided up my paper like this i kind of created a one inch border with a ruler you guys don't have to the only reason why i did it is because my sketchbook is a tad bit bigger so as you can see that's how it works so First step, you want to make sure you have some sort of straight edge like a ruler or the edge of a binder so you can make a line from one end to the other. So I'm going to go from the bottom left to the top right. So I'm going to use my marker because it's easier to see on camera. I say that every week and I don't know why. <laughs> so let's go. So here to there as best as possible. Now I should have got this beforehand but I need to find something that's round. Uh, I don't want to use my coffee mug. I don't want to get a marker on it. I use a piece of tape. Will tape work? Yeah, tape will work just fine. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the sun now. I don't want to use a fat flathead Sharpie. I want to use a fine point Sharpie. So here I go. There's my circle. And then next step, I want to put my crescent moon on this side. So crescent moons are a little bit more difficult. I'm just going to put one half circle right there. Move it up a tad bit. Making sure I match up more of those two ends of meat another one the way they meet. there we go using the exact same circle perfect all right if I want to add some rays it's pretty simple I'm just gonna add a dot in the middle of the circle with a pencil so I can erase it later and then I will make a cross first so basically up and down with my sharpie and avoiding the center of the circle and then I'm gonna go left to right and again avoiding the center of the circle and then I'm going to go uh, X. Actually, I might meet with a point of the uh, of the paper right there. There we go. Wow, that looks really good. And I think I have space for one more. Here we go. Diagonal in this direction. Perfect. All right, that's all I want to do. Some people do more, obviously, or a lot more. But um, for this demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do this much. All right, so I'm gonna erase that little tiny dot later on. For this side, some people add stars or dots or asterisks. Um, you can add whatever you want. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna do a couple of these, a couple of these simple stars. Kind of like freehand it. I like how natural it looks. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of them here and there. And then maybe one more right here to make it look so it doesn't look like I'm doing it straight in the line. Maybe one more right here. All right, so I'm gonna add some dots here and there, just like so. And then maybe I have some space to add some shines of stars like this. I kind of have some of them in my tattoo arm, kind of like that. All right, there we go. All right, now what I would do if I were you to make it easier for yourself 
is to divide the section up in this moon part I'm using a pencil so you guys can either keep it or erase it later. So some people kind of like went on their own way when dividing the uh, cool part. They kind of like did it as they went. Uh, this person did a pretty smart idea. They kind of did stripes with pencil and that way they were able to figure out where to go. Uh, this person's kind of doing their own thing. So uh, I don't want to be too random. So what I'm going to do with pencil, I'm going to go from this corner. I'm just going to make rays going out. So I am going to make sure I don't hit my stars. I'm going to make sure that they are kind of evenly spaced. So here we go. I'll do one directly in the middle of the moon. And one going to the end of the moon right there. And then maybe I can do one more. There we go. And it's going to intersect some stars by accident. All right. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that pencil line on the camera. But it's actually helping me out so I can see where I'm going with my uh, colors. So anyways, what you're going to need, like I said, is the primary colors, which are... I don't know why I put this away. You want to make sure... Sorry, not primary colors. You want to put warm and cool. So for warm, yellow, red, and orange. And then for cool, you want blue, green, and purple. And some ideas for some Zentangle patterns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these out here so you guys can see them. And then I might have to speed up the video. We'll see how much I get done. I'm gonna put this maybe like this. All right, and then let's see what I can come up with. And uh, if I don't do that, maybe I can shrink the, uh, the page maybe. I can put some examples up here right now. But, uh, and then you can pause the video, hint, hint. But um, for that said, I'm gonna try to do my best and decorate just a little bit. Cause I don't know how long this video is gonna run. And I'm at seven minutes already, so let's get started. Alright, um, if I haven't uh, uh, sped up the video, I think I might do it now, but uh, we'll see. So right now I'm doing a pretty good job, um, let's see, I don't think I have to speed up the video, I think I'm doing a pretty okay job. utilizing the colors pretty well. You guys can let me know if I'm doing it good or not. <laughs> All right, and again, I'm only gonna speed up the video uh, if I think I'm falling behind, but otherwise I'm gonna keep it normal speed, I think. I apologize for being quiet right now, but let's try to concentrate. So take this time to make sure you guys know what you're gonna do. And I think that's the best I can ask for. What else can I do? I'm looking at all these examples right here. These are really good. on the warm colors for right now. I'll put the warm colors below. Let's do some stuff with cool colors. Just so I don't fall behind.
looking really cool by the way. I really like the choices of patterns I'm using. It's actually turning out way better than I expected. Which is amazing. And something that I should be proud of. I am. To my own horn, but this is awesome. Feel free to copy some of my patterns because this is amazing right now. <laughs> Making sure I'm staying in the lines, and as soon as I say that, I'm sure I'll get out of lines and color stars by accident <laughs> like I just did. All right, I think I'm going overboard with time. I'm gonna stop right there uh, so I can end the video a little bit early. Oh, uh, not early, on time. But um, you guys get the idea of how this project works. There's tons of examples here. And again, if you just scroll back, actually, you know, I'll just post the examples of the Zentangle patterns over here again. Uh, so you guys can pause the video, maybe get some more ideas, some, some more patterns. And that's it. So this is a really simple project. Anyone can do it, and it turns out amazing, especially if you go really advanced like how this kid did or how this kid did. And then once it's complete, it'll just look amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this project. It does take a while, unfortunately. But um, feel free to do it within two days because it is a long one. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.